Hey guys welcome back, and today we are going to create this nice online webinar post design for social media in Adobe Illustrator. And if you want to follow along, download the project files from the video description. So let's jump right into it. First go to file and create a new artboard with square dimensions. Then select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Open the gradient panel. Apply a radial gradient to the rectangle. And invert it. Change the black side of this gradient to a yellow shade. And the white side to a darker shade. Note down the RGB codes for these shades. And apply them in the gradient accordingly. Now drag this office image in Illustrator. You can download these images from the video description. Scale it down according to the artboard. And align it to the center. Right click on this image. And send it to back. Select this rectangle and decrease its opacity to 85%. Now place the main subject image here. Drag the subject image in Illustrator. Or use any other image that you like. Align it to the center, and scale it down while holding down the Shift key. Now we will create a gradient to generate a fading effect for our subject image. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle at the bottom side. Change the gradient back to linear. Select the gradient tool, and apply the gradient vertically. Now apply a same darker color to both sides of the gradient. Note down the RGB code for this darker color. Now click on this left slider of the gradient. And decrease its opacity to zero. Now adjust this small slider to create a fading effect. Now our subject image is fading nicely from the bottom side. Select the subject image. Go to object. And lock the selection. Now we can work freely without disturbing our subject. Select the ellipse tool, and create a small circle here. Change its color to white and replace the fill color with stroke by clicking on this arrow. Scale it down a little. And place it on a position like this. Now select the polygon tool, and create a triangle. You can use the up and down arrow keys to adjust the sides of the polygon. Place it somewhere at the center. And from the Layers panel, place this triangle behind the subject image. Slightly scale it up according to the subject image. Now you can adjust the position of this circle. Again select the Polygon tool and create another polygon. Click and drag. And use the up arrow key to increase the sides. I'm creating a hexagon. But you can choose any other polygon. 
Scale it down as the circle. And place it here. You can add some more shapes as you like. Hold down the Alt key, and click and drag to copy this triangle. Scale it down. And place it properly. Now select all these shapes and decrease their opacity to 50%. Now we will add some headline text. Select the type tool, and write some headline. Change its color to white, and the alignment to center. Align it to the center of the artboard and increase the font size to a suitable number. Create a copy of this text, and replace it with some other text. Change the font of this upper text to Comic Sans. Change the font weight to regular, and the color to the same yellow shade. Place it closer to the headline. Slightly adjust the position of this full text. Also note down the font for this main headline. Create a copy. And add some details about the speaker. Change the font weight and the font size. Copy this text, and add speaker's name. Increase its font weight to bold. And slightly increase the font size. Now add some contact info at the bottom side. Write some helpful link here. And also add a contact number. Slightly decrease their font size. Now we will create a separation here. Select the line tool. Hold down the shift key and create a vertical line here. Select the yellow color for this line. Remove the fill and apply a stroke to it. Align it to the center of the artboard. Now place the contact info closer to this line. Now we have a nice separation between them. Now place your logo at the top right corner. I'm using this random logo just to give you an idea. Drag your logo in Illustrator. Scale it down. And adjust it here properly. Copy this bold text, and add some other details here at the top left corner. Change the alignment to left. And adjust its position. Slightly decrease the font size.
Select this time portion and change its color to yellow shade to make it more appropriate. Now we will add some other small shapes. Select the ellipse tool and create a small circle. Change its color to white and scale it down to create a really small circle. Right click on this circle. Go to transform and transform each. Change the horizontal movement to 10 pixels and create a copy. Select both these circles. Again right click and transform each. But this time, change the vertical movement to 10 pixels and create a copy. Press Ctrl D several times to repeat this last step. Select all these circles. Press Ctrl G to group them. And place them on a position like this. Create a copy. And place it on the opposite side. Go to Object. And select Unlock All, to unlock our subject image. Now select the Rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Press Ctrl A to select everything. Go to Object, and create a clipping mask. And here is the final output. Hope you liked this tutorial. Don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to Mac Visuals. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.